another video! Or if this is your first video of mine, hey, how you doing? Today, I'm really excited! I have a fairy loot box to unbox! Not any ordinary fairy loot box though, the two year anniversary fairy loot box! And it's purple! And I have an escaping worm. Do you see it just escaping here? I'm really excited about this. It's obviously their two year anniversary box. The theme is memorable moments. And I am just pumped. I honestly have absolutely no idea what the book could be. I didn't really look too much into the hints and stuff, so I don't know, but I'm really excited. It's here, it's the purple box. I still, not that you can see, but up there I still have the purple box from the first anniversary box. And you know, it's a cool little thing to do. And yeah, I'm just gonna open it now because <laughs> I'm excited and I don't need to ramble for too long, do I? Ta-da, can you see it? You can see a card. Do there's a thing, there's a thing. Okay, so. Theme card, amazing art as always, memorable moments, March 2018. I don't want to even slightly spoil myself, so there's that. As always, I love the Fairy Loot artist. I think it's an amazing art style, it's really pretty, and I am excited to keep going with the box, so I'm just gonna go. First thing we see on top here is from Geeky Clean. This is Bilbo's birthday cake, and I'm gonna guess this is a soap. Soap, yes. Exclusive Bilbo's birthday cake vegan soap by Geeky Clean. It's vanilla and strawberry cake scented. Can't complain at that. I think it's really pretty. I don't really use bar soap very often and it's got glitter in it, which I also don't like in soap in itself. I can just about smell it through the plastic and it does kind of smell like a strawberry, strawberry cake, strawberry and vanilla cake. It does. That's what it smells like. Yeah, that's, it smells exactly like it's supposed to smell. I keep feeling like I'm going out of focus a lot, so I'm really sorry if I am. Next up, we have a uh, toast to the Warden of the North. I'm assuming this is gonna be tea. No, it's not. It's hot chocolate. Yes, you know how I feel about the fancy teas. I don't drink them. Hot chocolates, I will try. Is it flavoured or is it it's just luxury drinking chocolate? Pure chocolate flakes have been crafted by British chocolatiers. Unique blend of cocoa sourced from Madagascar and Venezuela. Truly indulgent drinking chocolate, which has received a number of international awards. Well, that's exciting. I like hot chocolate and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be like trying to be extravagant, it's just gonna be quality chocolate, so I'm happy with that. Next up is a tiny candle, teeny tiny candle. This is from Paper Flames, I'm pretty sure that is the Paper Flames thing. Uh, Goblet of Fire, fresh bread and chocolate. That is very chocolatey, can you see the colours in there? It's really pretty. But that is a very chocolatey scent, and it's beautiful. Okay, next up we have Cork bunting. This seems really cool. Five cork flags with strings and pins. It comes with the pins. I was just about to say like I don't have any pins but it comes with pins. Oh this is really cool. Oh you have to put it together but cork bunting. I love it. That's amazing. Where would I hang it? Then we have a little promotional pin here that says bell, so that'll be for the bells I'm assuming. Then there is a bookmark for the bells. Okay, well, there's that too. But before we get to the book, we have this, which looks like a scarf. I definitely think it's a scarf. It's definitely a scarf. It's a very big scarf. Ta-da! So this is quite clearly some sort of Shadow Hunter's rune scarf. It's really soft. It feels Pretty much exactly like the scarf we got in the last year's anniversary box, the dragon scale one, which I love and still use. Oh, it's really soft. Um, exclusive rune ceremony scarf by Fiction Tea Designs. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the Mortal Instruments or the Shadow Hunters Chronicles or whatever, um, so I don't feel too strongly about the design, but the scarf itself is really soft and cozy, so like, I'm not mad at it. I like it. it. I feel like it suits my style because it's black, although I'm not wearing black for a change today. But yeah, I like it and it's cozy. Okay, so I believe the next thing is 
the book. So let's just do a recap here of what we've had. So hot chocolate, candles, smells really good. The soap thing, although it's glittery, I might just have to rinse the glitter off it before I use it. Smells really good. The cork bunting, really cool. I don't know where I'm gonna hang it, but really cool. Scarf, really soft. So it's been solid, it's been solid. Um, I'm scared that the book might be the bells. <laughs> let's um, have a look. It's blue, so it's not the bells. Phew. What is it? State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury. Sorrow, for that is all she brings us. I've never heard of this. What is this? I really enjoy the cover. The cover is beautiful, but what is this? A people laid low by grief and darkness, a cutthroat race for power and victory, a girl with everything and nothing to lose. By day, sorrow governs the court of tears, covering for her grief-maddened father, who has turned their once-celebrated land into a living monument for the brother who died before she was born. By night, she seeks solace in the arms of the boy she's loved since childhood, but one ghost won't stop haunting her, and when enemies old and new close ranks against her, sorrow must decide how far she's willing to go to win. Be swept away by the dark and dangerous new world from Melinda Salisbury, best-selling author of the Sin Eater's Daughter trilogy. Well, my dog needs to shut up, but I'm really intrigued by this. It sounds really sad. Like, you know, it's called The State of Sorrow and it's about a grief-maddened people. And I love the fact that it's a book I've never heard of. When I saw the promotional bits for the bells, honestly, I was thinking, oh God, is it really gonna be that? Because I don't wanna read that. I'm not interested in that. Don't care what anyone says. Really, that's just not up my street. The things I've heard about it make me think I'm not gonna enjoy it. So there's that. But it's not that. It's something I've never heard of before and seems really interesting. What's the actual book like? It's just gray, nice and gray. And it says State of Sorrow on the side there. Lovely, lovely. Well, that's interesting. Right, of course, we had bits and pieces in there as well. So the letter from the author is a bigger one this time. I will read that at another time. Oh, she's put a little drawing at the bottom there. That's cute, not that you can see that on the camera. Then we have the signed book plate. Of course, there's always a signed book plate in there. Then we have a little postcard with the book cover on. And as always, the Fairy Loot bookmark. I love these bookmarks. They're the perfect size for life, like, they're cute. I use them all the time. And my fairy loot reading code thing, mine, oh, they've changed it. It's now my buddy rather than fairy loot. So hashtag my buddy 002580 is my reading buddy code. And then fairy scoop, which is bigger than usual because it's obviously the anniversary thing. Oh, look, there's a little quiz thing to win subscriptions. Oh nice, uh, a little bit about Anissa and Michael, that's cute. Instagram photo challenge, previous challenge winners, book suggestions, interview with the author, timeline of notable moments. This is really cute. Oh, I love it. And then obviously on the back we have the hint for the next month, which is Whimsical Journeys. Perfect for people that love epic whimsical journeys filled with magic, mythology and unlikely alliances. You'll find items that are inspired by Narnia, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Hobbit, The Darkest Minds and Percy Jackson, etc. I kind of like not knowing too much about what's gonna come in them. Right, so that is the two year anniversary box. This scarf is really, really soft. I love it. I love receiving scarves. It's it's just like actually probably my favourite thing because I wear scarves all the time. I'm a really cold person. I wear scarves all the time. This is lovely. And I'm gonna stop because I've been rambling for 15 minutes. How has it taken me 15 minutes to do this? I don't know. So I'm gonna stop. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box, if you have heard of this book before, because I haven't, but I'm really excited by it now. And yes, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down there. Um, if you aren't subscribed, I'm firstly subscribing. I'm always eternally grateful for that. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and summer days in between if I'm feeling generous. And I will see you next time. Bye.